Alright guys, let's do some shopping at Goodwill. So first up, I was looking at this mm, antelope. I thought this might be good for my booth, but I wasn't quite sure. And then looking at the $3 price, I decided not this time. Then I was excited. Uh, they'd had someone deliver or donate a whole Avon collection and I'd been keeping an eye on it for a week and it turned out that they were now the color of the week so they were all 50% off. Anything red was 50% off. So I just kind of, I don't know much about them. I just tried to look for ones that seemed neat to me, unique. A chance to learn. And this time I am just doing the voiceover because I was excited to film this and I got so excited by all the stuff I found I forgot to talk to you guys while I was doing it. So we'll have a little bit of voiceover and music on this one. Plus usually the store's music is really loud. This one was really cool. I liked it. I think it's a deer. So I picked it up but unfortunately when I got to the register I went to take that one out of the cart and I grabbed it by the head and forgot to grab it by the body and it shattered and I was really, really upset. So now I'm looking at these giraffes. Again, something from my booth maybe to go on a safari theme, but looking at the price, I just decided, no, they weren't what I wanted. Wasn't the look I was going for. So usually when I come into this Goodwill, I hit up some of the knick-knack knick racks in the front, then I head back and I start looking at the small furniture, because I do paint small end tables and stools and things like that for my booth. There was a stool there, but I have three of them in my pending pile I need to get painted. I'm also always looking for good storage or unique displays for my booths. So this at $7 was really cute and I think it'll be great for figurines and salt and pepper shakers. So then I pulled out this piece and I wasn't sure. I thought it was neat because it was cowboy-like and I always like to look for art pieces to put in my booths. I thought it was unique, but I couldn't tell if it was actually old or if it was Hobby Lobby old. So it had calendars on it and kind of a neat like Annie Oakley type look, but I think in the end with the price it was like $15 or something, I decided not to go with it. This basket I was really excited to find. I've actually been looking for something like that for when I go to the flea market. There's one booth that's all, the guy has just tons of boxes and I always fill up my arms and then I have to just kind of put stuff on a table. So I was looking for something easy like that that I could use to carry stuff while I'm at the flea market. So that was a good find for $4. I was excited. And my goodwill is kind of redoing itself right now. And this was new to me. Normally these are all laid on shelves. They had a whole row of bins now on the bottom full of art. So I always like to look for art to put in my booths. As I said, paint by numbers, embroidery, cross stitches. This piece had been there for a while and I'd been looking at it and I wasn't sure about it because it was a cat and it was kind of 80s vintage, but color of the week got me. So I took it home for $2.50. This was another neat piece, but I couldn't tell if it was a print that was signed or if it was an actual watercolor, so I left it. Then this was another neat one, but I wasn't sure about it. It was hand quilted and then it looked like someone had hand stitched the image of the town on, but it was 1991, so I guess it was vintage, but I just, I wasn't sure about it. Still looking for that epic find, trying to find a paint by number or embroidery, cross stitch pieces, hand painted art. That frame seemed kind of neat but not old enough for what I was looking for. They had some really beautiful pieces of alcohol ink on tile that I thought those would be great in my booth but then I saw the price of $3 a piece and I decided to pass on those. 
even though they were neat. If they'd been like 99 cents or, you know, $2, I might have grabbed them. And then this bowl I thought was really cool. I liked it a lot. Um, I was trying to get a shot of the bottom for you. It said 96 on the bottom. So I don't know if it was a handmade piece or what. But I like the colors and the style. Unfortunately, it did have a hairline crack in it. And because of that, I decided to leave it and I think it was $5. This was a beautiful bowl. I really, really liked it, but I didn't know anything about the maker and they wanted, I think, nine, yeah, nine dollars for it. So at that price, I just didn't, I didn't know. So if you guys know who that maker is, I'd love to know more about it. I think this piece may have gone with it as well. I wasn't sure, but um, at that price, I decided, you know, I was going to leave it behind, sadly. <laughs> These have been there for a while. It was a whole set of these pink and white, like, kitchen, uh, not kitchen, bathroom items. This swan was pretty. I hadn't spotted the pig yet. <laughs> but at $10, I was like, nope. And then I spotted the pig. Now, I don't know, I have to look it up, if this is American Bisque or Shawnee. If you guys know what this might be, if you could let me know, I'd appreciate it. I think I've seen the bird with a head shape like that. That was American Pottery, so I grabbed that. Even though it doesn't have a sticker, they will um, pick an item at the register and uh, ask a manager, and they will give you a price on it. I think that was a little Hong Kong plastic girl piece, but I have a lot of figurines right now. I picked up one of these before, but when I did, it was only $0.99, cents and uh, it sold, but at this price, I decided in the colors, it wasn't really what I was looking for. And now we are entering my favorite aisle. It's all the little knickknacks and tchotchkes and they've really been jam packing it. So I spent the most time in this aisle. This one I wasn't sure about. I liked the look of it. I didn't know if it was a dollar store special or what. Um, if it had been 99 cents, I might have grabbed it, but I just wasn't sure of the maker or anything. So I left that behind. I think this was Home Co. There were a couple of these wandering around, but again, for some reason, like Christmas doesn't sell very well in my booths, and I didn't want more figurines right now, but I still kind of just picked it up to learn about it. And it was funny seeing, um, you'll see in a minute, the candle holders on the bottom there. I actually just did my garage haul video. I have a set of mini wall sconces that kind of match that, but those were big for shipping, so I decided to leave those behind. This was kind of a cool, rough, handmade piece, but for $3, I'm trying to be a little careful about what I'm spending. These usually do well for me on my Etsy, so I picked that up. I was really most excited for the pig picture. That was my favorite find so far. And these... They've also started uh, actually wrapping the salt and pepper shakers now at my Goodwill, which is nice because they come in a set. These are left in and I was trying to decide if I want them and then I saw they were left in so I did pick them up. She was a neat piece but I couldn't tell how old she was. And there was a chip in the bottom. And I think with the price in the end, I ended up leaving her behind. Always looking for unique kind of kitchen items too to put in my booths. This swan was cute, but it was damaged. It would have been neat if it actually still closed as a trinket box. But it was kind of very cheap, plasticky silver, so it just wasn't good quality and it was broken. Sorry about my thumb getting in the way there. I'm a little rusty, so just learning as I go. 
this piece I was trying to figure out what it was painted on and what it was debating if I should get that from my boots I think I was trying to oh, <laughs> I was trying to get uh, get the camera sorted out I think in the end this was made in China so I left it behind these masks were really cool someone dropped off a collection but Unfortunately, I just don't know anything about them, and in my goodwill, I get zero reception, so I'm not able to look anything up. I can't even get calls when I'm in there, so I wasn't sure about picking them up. They were like, yeah, about 5 to $10 a piece. So if you guys know anything about these, or if you think I should have gotten them, I kind of regret not getting her at least because she was really cool. I just didn't know, but there was a whole collection of those masks. That planter was kind of neat, but it had a little bit of chipping on it. That was another pretty piece, but for $4. I have a, and then I found this. And it was funny because I had just turned and I'm like, oh, I haven't looked down the left aisle at all. And then I spotted this cookie jar. And as you can see, I get very excited to figure out what it is. Because I think I know what it is. And sure enough, it's my first ever find of Treasure Craft. It has a few dings in it. But I thought for the price it was, I was going to take a chance. And I never found Treasure Craft in the wild. So I was really excited for that. So now the pig was right up there with that in terms of my favorite items so far. So now I'm backtracking. Looking to see, did I miss anything else on the metal aisle? Because I was in the metals and not in the typical ceramics. And then I spotted the cow. And I think on the bottom, I was trying to figure out, I think it says made in Taiwan. But I thought it was a really good size. So I'm trying to carefully put that in the cart. That dog had damage on the bottom. Now this one I'd love your opinion on, guys. This poodle planter has been there a while, but it has been broken and re-glued. Like, the head must have come off and been re-glued. The sides were re-glued. I mean, it was only $2, and I kind of regret not picking it up, but I just... With that much damage, would you have still picked it up? Because I wouldn't have wanted to ship it with that much damage, but it was so cute. Only two dollars, and it been there for over a week at least. This I thought might be something cute to put in my booth as just like a holiday thing, but then it was six dollars, and I decided it's probably a Target special, so I passed. There's another one of those. I believe it was Home Co Angels. I'm still kind of debating on those. That I donated like two weeks ago, that leaf decor piece, so that was funny to see it on the shelf. This I wasn't sure what it was, but I know I will sell, but for $3, I was like, if it's just a single candle holder, I wasn't sure. These were neat. They're like cruise line coasters, so I don't know if they were a souvenir piece, but I figured, you know, I'd pick them up and check them out. You may hear my cat in the background. It's almost feeding time, so she's serenading at my door. And then this little section was really jam-packed with stuff, so I was kind of backtracking and trying to see what I missed. And I had people starting to close in behind me, so I was trying to do it quickly and not catch anyone in the video. I did ask permission from the manager to film when I went in, and they said to just try to, you know, as long as I try not to get people. These two girls were really neat. I have no idea what they are, if they were hand painted or if the glazing, but they just kind of really kept catching my eye, and I was not sure about them. 
So if you have seen these or know anything about them, I think they were $4 each. I'm just curious. Who knows, maybe those were treasure craft as well by the coloring, but it could just be a, a dark glaze on them. This cow was cute, but the tail had been broken and reapplied. I totally missed that duck. I just spotted that. I always like to pick up little trinket boxes. This one was neat. It had different countries on it. That was a cute little delf piece, but it was just a toothbrush holder. Then I spotted this guy, and I don't know who the maker is of this, but I thought it was a cute little baby planter, and I decided to pay up a little bit for it because I do have a planner section in my booths and right now I have two pairs of baby boots in there so I thought that that would be cute with it. I've seen a lot of these statues lately in my Goodwill. I forget who they're made by. Just trying to see if I missed anything in the back. The only thing that's bad is our shelves are open in the back and stuff falls back. Those were candles, the girl I thought they were um, angel shakers, but they were um, wax candles. This piece, I kind of regret. I didn't end up getting it. I wasn't sure about it. I did like the glazing, and now I'm kind of kicking myself because I should have probably brought it home and looked it up. But if you think it was only $2, I just didn't know if it was old or new. I'm still digging. I'm at the end, but I'm hoping for one last thing. And then I saw this piece, and it does have a chip on the corner. But I feel like I've seen this before. There is no labels on it. It might be left in. I don't know. I know I've seen the holly leaves that look like this, so I'm going to have to look that up and figure out what that is. Trying to carefully stack everything in the cart makes me nervous. These were just made in China ones, so I didn't pick those up. These were kind of neat for fall. They were leaf coasters, but I think in the end they were kind of just a Target brand. Making sure I didn't miss anything. They had the buckets and nativities starting to come out, the nativity pieces for the holiday season. And one last glance to see if I missed. Still debating on those girls. Alright. Then they had some pottery mixed in with the dishware. And this one was neat because it had a cork in the bottom and it was older. But it was $7 and extremely heavy. So I didn't want to risk trying to ship that. And don't forget, guys, to follow me over on my Instagram, at Side Street Market. That's where you get posts of all my latest video releases. This one was neat. It was a Florida piece. I sometimes like to pick up Florida tourist stuff to put in my boots because it is in a tourist area. But that mug was $3, and I probably would have only charged about 5 in my booth for it, just as a simple tourist piece. So I left it behind. I'm trying to see if I can find any old mugs, vintage mugs, Starbucks mugs for my eBay. And they're slowly redoing the mug section, like we actually got it end capped with hangers now. And they're starting to tape sets together. And it's a little easier to dig, but you still have to be careful. So we are almost to the end guys. Once I finished with the mugs, I was done for the day. So 
I did head home. So if you liked this video, remember to go ahead and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned because there will be a separate haul video so you can get a close up of all the stuff I got and anything I may not have caught on the video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys and I hope to at least once or twice a month do a, a shop with me video for you guys. Happy thrifting. Stay safe.